Hello and welcome to another quick, quick tutorial regarding Schoolology. Today we are going to focus on the assignment portion and especially getting video submissions. I'm going to do this basically as a teacher, but there's going to be a portion of this that you can see as a student. As a teacher though, um, I want you first to go to a course. And in this case, I'm going to course section one. And you will create a regular assignment. Um, if you wanted to do it as a quiz or anything else like that, I suggest that you do it as an assignment and then later grade as a quiz, and I'm going to tell you about that. So I'm going to say practice submission for video. And then you can put in your description. You're going to set this up as we normally would with the due date, with all of your information, and then you're going to turn around and create the assignment just like you would create a regular assignment. And then we have all of that. Do not forget to align your learning objectives. It's very, very important. We hit create and you have your assignment already in, um, there it is right here, practice submissions for videos. I am going to log out of a teacher account. I am going to log back in as if I am a student. I have a personal student account, so I'm putting my student account information in right now. I'm going to resubmit my password because I forget things. And now, let me try one more time. I am logging in now as a student with my student account. So one thing that we're looking at is basically my information as a student and what I see. And it's going to say that I have things that must be done and a review. Um, if I look in my notifications, that's going to be the easiest place. I can see quickly that section one, which I just talked about, has a new assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and go to section one. And this section one has the upcoming assignment. This is something I did earlier, but remember I noticed this was practice submission for video. So I'm clicking that one. So once I click it, it has the sample. It would have the details. I can always write a comment. Teacher, I don't understand. And we can always post comments underneath the assignments. But if I do, I can go ahead and go to submit assignment, which is what I'm doing here. In submit assignment, there are two locations that I can put a video. Now, what I did earlier is I recorded the video on my phone and then I put it into my computer and now I have it in my files in my download. The very first place is very simple. You can click a file and you can upload it. I put it as what's that video right here and add a comment. See, I did my best. The other place it's uploading now that you can turn around and do video is in Create. And here you can actually type in an assignment, full assignment, and then you can insert content here, which would be image or media. And you can put it in that way. So if you want more than just the video, if you wanted them to write something and then put in their video and to justify it, they can turn around and do it there. So I'm going back to upload. I'm just going to upload. I'm going to hit submit. It shows that my assignment is now submitted. I'm gonna go back up here and log out so I can go to the teacher view. When I go out, I'm going back in now as a teacher. As a teacher, once you log in, you're gonna see right here, there's two ungraded assignment submissions. And I'm going to look, and I'm looking for practice submission for video, which is what we just saw. So it automatically takes me right there there's the comments but then it also is the student where i was before and it says needed grading on time so i'm going to go ahead and click that once i click the video automatically pops up i am recording this video for submission this is what i would do if i wanted to turn in an assignment so for i'm instance, pausing it there I had to exactly what i wanted it to be and i'm going to go ahead and get a quick grade why would i not give myself an a good job and i can also make sure that i send that to student excellent work timely 
and relevant. And then I can turn around and submit that. The grades are already in and it is completed. And that's the simple, basic way to set up submission to get re video recorded and to submit so you're able to enhance your classroom utilizing that experience. Thank you so much and I'll catch you on the next round.